to do Try This at Home, the show that takes ordinary household items and turns them into something extraordinary. Today I've got a double feature for you because they're pretty quick little nifty tricks I've got that you can do at home because I skipped last weekend. Sorry about that, folks. Had some stuff I had to get done. What we've got here is we've got a block of wood. It's three-fourths inches thick. It is nine and a half inches long, and it is three and a half inches wide. Directly from the top edge here, I've drilled a hole three and one quarter inches from the top edge. The hole is one and three sixteenths inches in diameter. At the other end, I've cut the wood at a 45 degree angle. This wood could be squared here, but I chose to make mine go to a little point of about an inch in width at this end. You still need this 45 degree angle to do this trick. I've embedded a two liter bottle cap here in the wood and it's fitting very tightly. That's the reason for the hole. What we're going to do next is we're going to screw the cap back on the bottle to attach the wood to the bottle. You can use your favorite soda. I'm using Diet Canada Dry Less Sweet Ginger Ale. The bottle should be full or very nearly full. I think I drank a little bit of this one. Next, we're going to turn it over on the table here. And you're not going to believe your eyes when you see this, folks. Voila! The bottle is balanced on the skinny little tip of wood there cut at a 45 degree angle. No strings, no magnets, no nails, no glue, just gravity. And just center of gravity, which would be right here along this line. Okay, enough of that. Have fun. Next, don't need measuring tape either. This is number two. We're going to take two books. I'm using Haunted Ohio 2 and 3. This is an autograph copy. And what we're going to do is they have to be two paperback books of approximately the same size. They don't have to be identical. These happen to be. We're going to interleave approximately halfway across the page. We're going to interleave pages. You don't have to interleave them perfectly. You just need them to go some on top of the other. You can go a few at a time. Just get them going like that. See, some, some, some there, some there, some there. The more you interleave, the better effect you'll have. But once the pages are interleaved, whoops, could take a while here. This trick is a very quick one. You can show it to your friends, relatives, and neighbors, and they'll totally freak out. It's totally cool at work to do this to somebody's books on their bookshelf and just leave them sit on their desk like this. They'll have a hard time understanding exactly what is going on. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. Once we get these books interlaced or interwoven, kind of like Kind of like cards. You don't want to bend these pages too bad. These are kind of cool books. I like them. So you don't want to hurt your books. Books are neat. Some books. Some books are boring. Like this trick's becoming. Okay, well, let's hope it's not too boring. We're going to keep going here. We're going to keep on there leaving pages. And remember, oops, we don't want them to be bent. Okay, that's good enough, probably. Let's see here. I'll do a few there, a few there. A few more here, a few more here, a few more here. A few more here, I'm done. Good enough, good enough, good enough. Next, you're going to take the books. Look, they stand up. That's not the trick, though. You're going to grab them by the spines, and you're going to pull as hard as you can. As hard as you possibly can pull. I'm going to pop a vein pull in these things. They're not going to come apart. The books are interwoven. No glue, no strings, no thread, no nothing. And they won't come apart. That's because there's so much friction between each of the pages. Now, how do you get them apart? Well, you gotta kinda uninterlace them. You can kinda do it like this. Once you get to a certain point, they should come apart pretty easily. There, Whew. That was a lot of fun. You gotta try it. You'll freak somebody out with this one, I'm telling you. Next time I do try this at home, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. But anyways, I hope you had a great time today. And remember, do try this and this at home. Thanks for watching. I'm Mr. G. I almost forgot. What fun would it be without 